Efficient Teamwork Cloud Repository Analysis with Resource Usage Map When a large number of users work in a collaborative environment with a large number of projects, it becomes difficult to understand and validate dependencies among resources. For this reason, we present Resource Usage Map, a new and powerful web application that comes with Teamwork Cloud version 2021X. Resource Usage Map allows you to create a graphical representation of Teamwork Cloud resources and detect potentially problematic usage areas. You can even view and analyze the details of the selected resource, such as its direct and indirect usages, as well as the projects where the resource is used. There are several types of suspicious usages that may occur in your Teamwork Cloud repository. The first type, and probably the worst one repository-wise, is inconsistent version usage. It is a usage where a particular resource uses different versions of the same resource directly or through other used resources. You can see an inconsistent version usage example where the water pump version 9 uses the cooling unit version 5 directly and version 8 indirectly through the power unit. The second type of suspicious usage is a cyclic usage. It is a usage where resources use themselves through other used resources and form a usage loop. The following example shows how the cooling unit version 8 uses the version 5 of itself through the power unit and water pump. The last type is unused resources. These are the resources that are not used at all by any other resource in the Teamwork Cloud repository. This type of suspicious usage is displayed only when the entire repository is loaded on the map. In this demo, we will run through the user interface of Resource Usage Map, analyze dependencies and usages between resources, and identify and solve an inconsistent version usage. Now let's see Resource Usage Map in action. You can open it from three different places, directly from the App Switcher or the home page, from the Resources application by generating a map for the whole category, or just the selected resources, or from the Modeling tool by generating a map of the currently open server project. To do this, go to the Collaborate menu and select Open in Resource Usage Map. Let's open Resource Usage Map from the home page. To generate a new map, click the Select button. The Open dialog lists all Teamwork Cloud projects and categories. You can generate a map for the selected resources by clicking each resource you want to have on the map. You can also click a category to select all resources it contains, or you can select all resources in the repository. Let's generate a map for the entire repository. Now select a random resource on the map to have all user interface components in one view. In the top bar, you can collapse and expand the filters pane or search for a specific resource on the map. This comes in handy when there are many resources in the repository. The bar below allows you to switch between different maps. You can generate a new map from here as well. On the left side, you can see the filters pane with two different groups of filters. The first one is designed to show or hide non-suspicious usages and the standard profiles on the map. The second filter group displays the types of suspicious usages the repository contains. You can expand and collapse each group to see detailed information about each suspicious usage. By default, you will see all suspicious usages on the map. However, 
If you have a huge map with many suspicious usages, it is more convenient to work with one group at a time. For example, to solve only inconsistent version usages, you will need to clear the checkboxes for the cyclic usages and unused resources filters. On the right side, you can find all essential information about the selected resource, such as its creation time, modification time, and usages. There are two different cards displaying resource usage information. The first card shows which resources the selected resource uses, both directly and indirectly. The second card displays which resources use the selected resource directly and indirectly. Now let's solve an inconsistent version usage. When you select a suspicious usage, it can be displayed in a more convenient way. Here you can see that the water pump version 9 uses the cooling unit versions 5 and 8. Let's fix this. In the modeling tool, the water pump version 9 is already opened. To solve the issue, the water pump should use the cooling unit version 8 directly. To change this, go to the Options menu and click Project Usages. Then select the cooling unit and click the Change Version button. In the Open dialog, select version 8 and click OK. Now you need to commit the changes to Teamwork Cloud. The quickest way to do this is to use the Ctrl plus K shortcut keys, which open the Commit dialog. Let's commit. Now open Resource Usage Map and update the map. To do this, click the Active Map, then click the Update Map button. Once the map is updated, you can see that the inconsistent version usage has been fixed. That concludes our short introduction to Resource Usage Map. For more information about the product, please visit our website at the link below.